The thing is that people tend to lose a lot of time when they are working with images and tables in InDesign. So here in InDesign, I have a basic table. Okay, so I've got some text, I've got some text here, and here I have a few empty cells. So what people tend to do is they would either put the cursor in here in order to place an image and then choose file, place, and then it's just a matter of messing around with the image, scaling it, moving it, you know, cursing and swearing, all that kind of stuff. So another way of doing this is, as I sometimes see it, is people would place the image, let's say here next to the table, scale it down until it reaches, you know, it, until it has the size that we're looking for, and then they cut it and then they paste it into the table, followed by more swearing and then cursing, basically. So what we do instead is the following. We're gonna select these cells. We're gonna go up to the table menu and we're gonna choose convert cell to graphic cell. What we've just done is we have converted these, let's just call them text frames. I'm using air quotes here, which you cannot see. And we've converted them into graphic frames. So this means that these frames are gonna grow with that cell. Now, we're not done yet. Let me reselect these four frames. Let's go up to the object menu, choose fitting and choose frame fitting options. Now, I do have to say in this specific scenario, often we want to place a regular picture. In this scenario, I want to place icons. A picture should probably fill the entire cell and might get cropped off you know, around the edges. An icon needs to be visible at all times fully filling um, the cell while not being cropped. So the thing is that I have to make sure that the content of this specific cell is fit proportionally. And I have to make sure that I have the proper settings here. So I don't want to fill the frame. I want to fit the content proportionally. Now, this should be aligned from the center and I am gonna choose auto fit as well. You'll see why in just a couple of seconds. I'll click okay and I'm just gonna deselect this table. I'll choose file, I'll choose place, and now I'm gonna go and get that file that I was looking for, which is in here, links. I have an, an Illustrator file, so I'm gonna choose show import options. I am going to import all four artboards. I'll choose okay. So I've got all four of them now, and now it's just a matter of saying, you know what, I am just going to uh, place that one here. I'm gonna place that one here, uh, altitude and season. So now as you can see, it is now filling up all of these cells here. Now I have to make a few minor adjustments. So I'm gonna go back and choose the type tool, type tool, not the selection tool, to select these cells. Let's go back up to the fitting options, frame fitting options. Let's play around with these options again. If I choose fit content proportionally, Aha, now it is really, really fitting in these icons. Now, the crop amount is very interesting here. Take a look at the crop amount option in combination with auto fit. Look what happens. I'm gonna put my cursor in here. I'm gonna press the down and upward keys on the keyboard. So this is going to crop the available space in the cell. And because fit content proportionally and auto fit is on, it is just shrinking that icon. There we go, I'm gonna choose okay. Now look how beautiful that looks. You know what's even better? Look what happens if I were to resize this column, the icons will just grow and shrink as I go along. This is great, this is super easy and super flexible as well. So use graphic cells in combination with frame fitting options to save your day. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.